Okay, so let's get started with what is uh, WaterCAD and WaterGEMS Connect. Many of you have, I think, been on V8i version, and you're probably initially going to see a big difference between V8i and Connect, and that's in the interface. Okay, so the biggest difference is the ribbon. Uh, things have been moved around uh, a little bit to where you can find things again. Compute is has been made pretty large to where you can easily find it. Scenarios, you're going to use scenarios a lot throughout the class and throughout your modeling. Um, so it's been made larger. Uh, this is actually it actually shows Sewer Gems Connect Edition, but the but the nice thing is is all of the Haystead products, the scenarios, the compute, the validate notifications, layout. They're all going to be the same. Flex tables, model builder. So once you go through the WaterCAD or Water Gems class today, you're automatically learning how to run Sewer Gems or or Hammer or SewerCAD or StormCAD or any of the other Hasted products. You're automatically picking up the know-how to learn that. Now there are specific things like Sewer Gems or Storm Data and Sewer Collection Data that are unique to that product, right? But uh, um, and then also I'll show you a few other tips and tricks inside of, of the interface once I turn on Water Gems for us. Tell you what, let me go ahead and uh, turn on Water Gems here so we can get, get talking about it. Okay, so when you first turn on WaterCAD and Water Gems, I want to call your attention to Quick Start Lessons. So there's a Quick Start Lesson if it's your first time using WaterCAD and Water Gems or your first time using the Connect version. I encourage you to click on the Quick Start Lessons. And these are uh, part of the software, and they help walk you through um, some of the new steps and where that menu is and everything. And, and, uh, if you, so you're taking a class. You're already going to be learning a lot of neat tools and neat features. But if you just want to sharpen your skills a little bit more, uh, go ahead and click on the Quick Start Lessons there. All right, And there's a Learn New Ribbon interface just to help you for those uh, on the new Connect version, Connect Edition, but you're going to pick it up pretty fast. All right, so what I'm going to do is just today, uh, right, right at the moment, click Create New Hydraulic Model. Okay, and what you'll see when you first turn it on uh, and create a model is it's going to be asking you, do you want to map this to a, uh, do you want to map this to a project? And what this allows you to do is um, save a file up to the cloud, and then you can also map that file to other files, other CAD files, other design files, other microstation files, uh, to where um, there's an awareness that they're all related files. And uh, it's, it's the cloud, and it's always changing, so there's more benefits coming uh, with that. Uh, but at the very least, it is allowing you to associate uh, your model file with a particular connected project. And work with permissions and who can access project files and, and everything on the cloud. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to say uh, uh, do not notify me again because we're not going to be doing that today. Now, here's the interface for Water Gems. Uh, again, scenarios are large. Computer or Compute is large. Uh, select tool is going to be large. Uh, so we'll be able to see those. Graphs, flex tables, those are other things that you're going to use very frequently um, while you're modeling, so they've been made large. Now, uh, I realize things are changed, things have been moved around, so what they did was they added a search ribbon feature here. So the search ribbon feature allows you to go find something. Uh, maybe it's calculation options, perhaps. So I'm going to start typing in that little search window, and what it's doing is it's finding all those tools that are related to that word. So in this case, I wanted calculation options. So now I'm able to find calculation options just by one click by typing into the ribbon. I, I find myself using that more and more now. Uh, before, I didn't quite know what it was, and I thought it was just searching somewhere on the web, but it's actually actually searching the software to find those particular tools and features. So I'll open up scenarios very quickly here. We're going to be playing around with scenarios. Uh, you'll use this toolbar. But I want to show you something else that you'll see. When I drag around, uh, I've got a blue box where I clicked on scenarios, and I'm dragging around. You'll notice these little attach points pop up. And they are kind of indicating where it's going to snap for me. Maybe I want to snap there. Maybe I want to snap there. Uh, but this allows you to kind of organize your screen to be more efficient and have things uh, exactly where you need them filed away. Uh, there's a little thumb thumbtack button here. 
uh, that you can click to make things disappear and tack onto the side of your screen to give you more drawing real estate. A lot of times your, your models are, you know, there's a lot of piping networking. You want to maximize that uh, drawing real estate. So you can just hover over, get to scenarios, or hover over, get to, in this case, element symbology. So let's see, I'll show you a few more things here. Uh, flex tables. This is where you're going to go when we start actually drawing a model. Let me just real quickly draw a few pipes and show you uh, what those are. I'll go to home, I'll go to layout. And I'm just, you don't need to be doing the, uh, following along right now. I just wanted to show you very quickly here. Um, so I drew some pipes and some nodes. And, and again, you're going to be doing a lot of this in the class. You, you'll get, get really used to doing this. But what I wanted to do was populate the model with something so we can go look at flex tables and see there's now a pipe table. And now in this flex table, it's all of the data for those pipes. And I can manipulate all of the data inside of the flex table, change C factors, change material, diameters. I can modify all of this all at once. So flex tables are really great and powerful for changing things all at once. Maybe you want to do a global edit and change from 6 inch to 10 inch. Okay, You want to filter. You want to do things in bulk. Great, great to do that in a flex table. However, if you want to modify one element at a time, a simple double click will give you the properties dialog manager. And the properties dialog manager allows you to go in and modify a specific element. Uh, in this case, you can put some notes on that pipe. It had a break in, in say, 1986 and, and uh, 1999. There was a break. So you want to make record of that. Uh, Here's the numbers of numbers of breaks that you would enter, uh, diameter, C factor, again, all of the things that you would expect to modify, but only one element at a time. And then as I click from element to element to element, it's changing. Uh, if you can see the label changing there, it's changing element to element to element as I go. Even if I want to change the junction, now I can actually see elevations. I can see uh, zones that that. Uh, node is going to be placed in. So you can just very quickly modify one element at a time. Now, if you have thousands of nodes or thousands of pipes, it might be more difficult to go about doing it in this, this way. All right. And uh, let's see. I will stop there before I really get into anything more. This is just, just really high level what we can do in WaterCAD and Water Gems. Um, I guess more things uh, I could, could draw a pump in here. Um, and, and we're going to play around with drawing it here in a little bit, too. And, uh, and I'm going to ask you to turn on your water can, water gems, and draw, draw and connect some things. But uh, I just want to get you introduced to it for now. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.